Hey guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel tonight. It's steadily getting colder here in Vegas, and guess what? This year's flu is coming to Vegas. Everybody I know has it, and this morning I woke up, I felt nauseous. I did not feel good at all. I didn't even think I'd want to do a video, and I still kind of feel that way. So I thought to myself, what could I do today that would be pleasing and delicious that people would like? And I thought I would make some good old-fashioned New York City Jewish penicillin chicken soup. Everybody knows that chicken soup knock out a cold, but plain old boiled chicken is just plain old boiled chicken. It makes a broth, and then you can boil the bones and make a stock. And you know, but it's been done and done and done. And everybody I hope knows how to make basic chicken soup. So I thought Asian food again, and I started looking around to see what I had on hand, and I had everything I needed to make this dish. So tonight I'm going to make something called Tam Ta Kai or Thai coconut chicken soup. Okay. As a matter of fact, I think Tam Ka Kai is Thai penicillin for the common cold or flu. It has a lot of ingredients. It imparts a lot of nutrients. I promise it'll help chase down a cold or a flu. Okay. And it's rather easy to make and I'm going to make it tonight. As a matter of fact, I'm going to start by making a homemade chicken broth slash stock. A lot of people do recipes, you see them on blogs or on the tube, and they're using boxed or canned organic stock, and that's fine, but I thought I would rather make an Asian style stock and then work the recipe from there. So, as usual with YouTube, 15 minutes, let's get going, let's make a stock, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay guys, I brought the chicken that's in this pot up to a boil slowly. It took a long time. I did it on medium, okay? I did it on medium, maybe even a little bit lower, and brought it up to the boil so that it wouldn't shock the flesh of the chicken into becoming tight and rubbery, okay? Now, I'm going to lower it to a simmer, and I'm going to add some vegetables to help flavor this stock. This is one small slivered onion. Level, okay? Here is some mixed vegetables, carrots and corn, and other things that will impart flavor to this broth. Okay. Here's about three cloves of rough chopped garlic. There's a couple of okay. pieces of ginger, okay, just to get some spiciness in there. About ten black peppercorns, and a little all, bit, about a teaspoon of Chinese five spice. Okay. Now if you don't have five spice but you have a piece of allspice, okay, you could break up that piece of allspice and throw it in here. It gives it a wonderful aroma. Okay. Now in about three hours and I've got a lovely broth. I removed the chicken from the broth and now I'm going to strain the broth into my brand new cast iron with enamel coating Dutch oven. I've been waiting to use this. Okay. And I'm going to strain all the impurities out. I might have to do this more than once. Get all the vegetables, herbs and spices. I skimmed all the foam. Okay. There we go. That's everything. All right. So if you take a look, I have a nice, rich, dark, thick broth. But there's another step. This is a broth. Broth is made when you boil a chicken with herbs and spices. Okay, it's great for quick soups. Okay, it's what you buy in those cardboard containers. Stock is when you boil the bones of the chicken, the carcass, okay, with the same herbs and spices, and it comes out much stronger, much more pronounced. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna put this back on the stove. I've gotta separate the meat from the chicken carcass and then I'm going to put the carcass bones back in here and simmer for one more hour. It's going to really fortify the flavor of this broth. So I call it a broth stock or a stock broth. But it's really going to fortify the flavor of this. I might have to add a little bit of water to increase the volume. But that's okay. Right now, it's a lovely dark, lovely dark broth. Okay. Okay, so guys. I strained the broth stock again. Okay. I put it in this enamel coated Dutch. I've added the chicken back into it, okay? I brought it to a high boil. Now I'm bringing it to a medium boil simmer. 
and I'm going to add a couple of things. These are straw mushrooms. Then I'm going to put one smashed red chili. Okay, that's going to heat it up a little bit. Okay, I have some and finely, finely, finely chopped fresh lemongrass. Okay, there we go. That's going to make this oh so fragrant. Oh, it's just and on top of that, four or five kefir lime leaves. Okay, guys, the soup is still simmering, but I thought I'd talk to you about something a little bit. Today it seems very popular that when you go to a Thai restaurant, um, they make this tam ka gai soup with some kind of sugar, either palm or brown sugar. This is very popular today. People do it in their homes, people do it in restaurants, but it's not traditional, so I'm not adding any kind of sweetness here. Okay. Also, in restaurants, there's the tendency today to either incorporate or have on the side things like chili oil or nam prick pad or prick pow. Okay, which adds another layer of flavor, but it's not traditional. It's optional, and I'm not going to do that here. I'm going to keep it pretty much as traditional as possible. I'm going to make my soup as a full meal with a layer of rice noodles at the bottom of the bowl, so it's going to be a main. But I thought I would share those options with you. You can also add other vegetables into this gai choy, bok choy, bean sprouts, and things like that. But I'm going to keep it fairly simple, basil, cilantro, things like that. So I'm going to give this another few minutes, and uh, we'll be ready to bowl up. Okay, guys, final steps in making this soup. In goes some finely grated ginger. Unfortunately, I didn't have any galan gao, which is what you use to make this dish in a traditional fashion. But for the sake of the recipe, because I couldn't find any galan gao, you can use ginger, and it will make it just as flavorful it'll still make a delicious soup. Look at the colors, look at the green, look at the red, look at the white from the chicken and the mushrooms. So in goes the ginger, coconut milk, whole coconut milk, not the diet stuff, okay? okay. And I reduce it to a low simmer, and here we go. Okay guys, we're at that medium simmer now, and now I'm gonna add my fish sauce. About two tablespoons, maybe three. It just depends. Like I said, there are going to be flavor adjustments in this dish, as with any dish. Okay. I'm going to stir this in. And to that, I'm going to add some freshly squeezed lime juice, about three tablespoons for the sour. This dish is about spicy, salty, sour, sweet, if you want to go with that sugar thing that a lot of people are doing today but it's really not necessary. I don't condone it. I would rather stay traditional. Sweet is for other soups. So, All right. Now it's time for a taste. A little more salt from the fish sauce. We want that fish flavor. A little more salt. Remember, I didn't add any salt when I made the broth. That should do it. Mix that in. Have a little taste. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's good. I'm going to let this simmer for a minute or two. I'm going to add a little more heat to it. Because I like the heat. I have some other chilies for garnish. But I have this nice red chili powder that a guy makes for me in Arizona. It's pretty fiery. In fact, it's real fiery. Give that a quick stir. Do a test. Yeah, we're there. Okay, guys. Okay. It's time to bowl up. Okay, there's my bowl. I told you. I'm going to make this as a main meal with noodles. Okay, so I'm just going to stir this soup around because I'm hunting for, oh there it is. I'm hunting for that big red chili pepper. Oh yeah. Time to bowl up. There we go. There we go. Get some of that chicken. It's so tender. Okay, there's the chicken.
lime leaf and broth. Some of those straw mushrooms. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. Beautiful color. Another nice creamy color. I really like those straw mushrooms. There we go. And one more ladle of broth. There we go. And I'm not done yet. I still got to garnish this, so hang on tight. Okay, guys. See those lovely colors? So, let's do a little extra garnishing. I got something here you don't see in a lot of these recipes for this soup. I like chive bulbs. These are delicious. Okay. These are delicious. Better than a regular chive. Okay. Thicker with more crunch. More nutrition as well. Mmm. Chive bulbs. Just wonderful. Okay. Yeah. Some white scallion. It'll cook in the heat. Some green. Some white. One of the things about this dish is color. Okay. And here's some of what I like. It's finely sliced shallots. Okay. Even though the broth was made with an onion, shallot has a completely different flavor. Okay. Shallot has a completely different flavor from regular onion. And it's delicious. And it's sliced so thin. Okay. A little on top. Delicious. Delicious. Okay. A couple of basil leaves here and there. Fresh. No stems. Take the stems off, guys. Take the stems off. A little bit of cilantro on top. This is a meal. This is not a side dish. This is a meal. And for those who want a little more heat, and you know me, I'm always there for heat. I like the heat in Thai food. Okay. And besides that, I can feel this cold coming all day, and I feel like a train wreck. Now this is somewhat bigger, larger, than what you would get in a Thai restaurant, I promise you. Like I said, this is a meal, and not a side dish. So, there it is, guys. Tom Ta Gai. My way. I hope you make this. I know you'll love it. Thanks for watching. Hi guys. I want to thank you for stopping by my kitchen tonight, my easy cooking channel, and watching me make Tam Ka Kai, okay, my way, okay. I'm really hungry and I'm starting to feel really fluey, body achy, so I need to eat that big hot old bowl because I'm really not feeling good. But I want to thank you for stopping by my channel. I appreciate it. I hope you make this recipe. I know you'll love it. Make it, make it your own. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care and don't catch a cold.